Hey Cancers, welcome or welcome back to the Cancerian Vibe. I am she, the Boss Lady B. Thank you so, so much for joining me. You can definitely check out my description box below for all the important information that you may want to know. If you're interested in a personal reading or working one-on-one -on -one with me, all that good stuff. My website, social media is all down in the description box below. Okay, you guys, I wanted to hop in and do a little prophecy reading for Cancer. So we're going to look at, um, you know, kind of like an overview of your life the energy around your life look at the hidden influences um see what actions you may need be needing to take right now and then look at some potential outcomes so if you're here for that stay around for that all right um definitely make sure you leave a little residue of your energy go ahead and give my thumbs up button a tap all right let spirit know you here and present and you're sending out positive energy because you're here for your, all your blessings, okay? All right, but anywho, <clears throat> let's get right into it, Cancer. I'm going to pull a couple cards to see the overview of your life. So, clear, accurate messages for Cancer Spirit. Give me a, the overview of Cancer Ooh, so we got dreams showing up manifest right so i feel like there's something that you've been dreaming about um that could be um manifesting into your life and this could be a negative or a positive thing so you know like if there's something that you've been dwelling on especially you know before you go to sleep and you're dwelling on it your dreams you know this could be manifesting into your life um but on the flip side it's a very positive thing because there's something that i feel like is attached to a dream that you may want to follow or you've been receiving receiving a dream um that's a going to manifest it says to embrace your dreams all right so notice all the subliminal messages that you've been receiving they will guide you along your path of your discovery your self-discovery so i feel like dreams too like you you could definitely be a person that like gets dreams and i know some <clears throat> some people <coughs> excuse me some people say that they don't like remember their dreams when when they wake up which like i must i can talk to you like more so about that in detail in another video but like definitely just when you wake up have like a pen and paper or pull up your note section in your phone or whatever and like put everything that you can remember even how you're feeling when you immediately wake up like all of that even if it does not make sense at that moment okay just write it down and sometimes it'll definitely like your brain will come back and connect the dots for you okay so yeah you could definitely with cancer um cancer energy you definitely could be someone that's kind of clued into their dreams okay let's see overview for cancer so we got lead showing up. You have wisdom, cancer, knowledge, and strength. Share your thoughts, your insights, and your feelings through words of purpose to inspire others through leadership. I feel like, Cancer, you were born to lead in whatever capacity that looks like for you. I don't know why I feel like I'm seeing lavender on that, on that tree. But I, I, lavender doesn't even grow in trees, so I don't know. But lavender, you could be smelling lavender. Like, you can have lavender in your house. I don't know. Lavender is relaxing, so you may want to um use it or work with it or you know have it around you or whatever it may calm you but i do feel like there is there's things that you know cancer there's things that you know because of your dreams like that's the type of person that you are like that's a part of your purpose and you are supposed to be leading others with like the insights that you have like you need to be sharing them with other people okay and i feel like you have been kind of coming around to this universal um energy and connecting right with the universal energy and that's why yeah you're being you've been your dreams are kind of significant in this sense right but definitely i feel like you're a born leader and you're needing to kind of step into your power around that let's pull a couple more for cancers overview so we got journey showing up relax and take a break you are on the right path, Cancer. Take time to rest before making any big decisions. You are exactly where you, you're meant to be. I feel like you could definitely be concerned about your legacy. Like, the future could definitely be a big, like, point for you. Um, right? 
Um, you could be thinking about that a lot. And the choices that you make are going to shape your legacy, create your legacy. And I feel like that's all a part of your journey. Don't regret choices that you've already made. You know, be vigilant about the choices that you're, you will make or, um, yeah, that you are making or will make in the future. Okay. But also know that you are exactly where you're meant to be. All right. Know that. But I feel like definitely you need to be kind of thinking about, or you have been thinking about um, how you can leave your mark on the world. And you that's what I'm saying. You are a leader. Like, that's a part of your journey. I feel like that's a part of your dream, okay? So, yeah, warrior energy showing up. It's giving can't survive a little bit, okay? Right? But relationships are popping out. I feel like, okay, um, relationships are very important i feel like you know your connections around the people that you love your family your friends all all of those people kind of definitely make up who you are can't say your relationships are important to you and you could definitely be experiencing some evolutions in your relationship right this could be a time definitely as we're coming around to this holiday season where you may find yourself connecting with those people the people that you love in relationships too but i feel like um you're you're being guided towards relationships that are meant for you on your journey okay relationships that aren't going to get away in the way of your leadership because you are giving this warrior energy and this warrior just can't it's like you know she wouldn't just settle for any old like you know suitor or whatever like she needs a special type of person right and not even just romantically you're gonna have to connect with certain type of people cancer right um where you're able to kind of stand your ground that's the energy that it's given but i feel like definitely cancer your relationships are a backbone or a really um pivotal point in, or like a solid point in your life right we're going to look, though, at the hidden influences in your life. So that just had to slide out here. And look what it is. Love. Abundance is, underlying, is the underlying energy. And I feel like it's an abundance of love. Everything starts with the highest energy, which is love. Okay. So love. There could definitely be something happening in the love department. It is safe to feel the splendor of love, Cancer, okay? So, you know, if there is something happening in the love department for you, it's safe. Know that, all right? Let go of fear around it and tell that special someone how you feel. Um, allow the truth of love to guide your heart and soul. So if your heart has, has been, you know, guiding you to say something to someone about someone that you're in, a, in some type of relationship with, like if you've been getting that urge or if you've been feeling a certain type of way, I feel like there is going to be promptings around like matters of the heart or love. And I feel like it's almost getting to a point where it's giving Ace of Cups vibe where it like spills over, it spills out. It kind of comes out, right? Hidden influences around cancer right now. Spirit. Balance. All right. So look, are you doing too much cancer? You're going to need to find your balance. Okay. Um, we are still in Libra season. So it says, look, to take some time to rest and find balance in all the areas of your life. So your love life, your home life, career, all of that. A change now will build a strong down foundation for the future. And I feel like the foundation, I don't know, that feels very deja vu-ish, but definitely the foundation around, um, especially with this tree showing up, I feel like, you know, those roots, the foundation around a tree are very strong. And that's what you're needing to focus on, um, <clears throat> Cancer. This infinity energy is showing up. There is no end to your triumphs, okay? So, like, no matter what, there is no end to you overcoming the challenges that you face, all right? Feel the magic that floats in the air. As you relax <clears throat> and relate and allow things to manifest into your reality, too, I feel like that's a hidden influence of, you know, kind of taking a beat and relaxing. Like, it's like you're actually giving yourself time to kind of dream and imagine and kind of manifest into your reality. Because you are very powerful that way, whether you realize it or not. Give me one more. Let's see. Uh, hidden influences around cancer right now. So, yeah, aligning. Your guardian angels are around you, too. You can't see them, but they're definitely around you. You are loved and protected by these guardian angels. Cancer, they don't play about you. They want you to have everything. Okay, it's giving very loving and um, protective. Um, 
that and they are wanting to kind of like because you are special okay this align it says master yourself to allow alignment to occur all right stay strong and focus as you walk your path i feel like that's your journey um your life's journey your life's purpose is to stay strong and um and focus as you walk your past your path not getting distracted still staying you know and still having the balance between your relationships but still that's what it feels like too somebody could definitely be aligning with their purpose right and it's taking you in one direction leading you one way um but you are needing to instead of like letting your relationship slip you want to find the balance okay um and i feel like guardian angels are around the situation where you know not allowing that to happen i feel more togetherness around relationships or where you really find where you align with the relationships that are meant for you but mastering yourself mastering your journey and i feel like mastering yourself is like how you're leading that's like how you're showing um that's like how you're showing leadership okay mastering yourself because you can teach others how to like master your emotions okay how to balance your your um self right let's see what actions are cancer needing to take all right so we got move on the pop out for actions usher in this new energy all right that's what action you need to take i feel like move out of grief move out of heartache um because you may have been in a place where it was like really just consuming you consuming your life um forgiving like forgiving people that may have wronged you hurt you like mistreated you like forgiving that and like letting that go because if you're still holding on to that in any capacity it's affecting you it's affecting the blessings that um wants to manifest into your life cancer all right forgiving is not finding um forgiving isn't i'm not saying you know forget forget it like act like it never happened but it's like get finding a different way to deal with it getting out of survival mode around how you deal with this situation okay and really really honor how you feel really honor how you feel but don't sit in your in your feelings okay because remember emotions are fleeting it's like keep moving right usher in the new energy that brings about new beginnings remain positive to move forward fearlessly so you're gonna have to remain positive i feel like that's been a resounding message around uh cancer here lately like you're gonna have to stay positive in these times as new things you know come around and look so this illusion tried to show up again uh try show up where I, where grief is showing up again and so that's why i'm saying like your grief or your emotions could definitely be kind of like skewing your um perception like you're not seeing the situation clearly or you may not be seeing the situation from all the sides you're gonna have to trust your situation trust your situation trust your instincts in your situation or trust your intuition in your situation um as you kind of find the balance too but th between looking at things objectively and trusting what your heart is saying okay remember this is going to be the week for decisions all right somebody could be making a decision about moving but look at that purpose universe abundance wanting to show up the universe look asking you to give your cares over to um your angels your spirit team god like give that over that's something that you don't want to worry about okay it's time to kind of bring fulfillment into your life when it comes to moving along the journey of your purpose okay um and your purpose i feel like is to inspire others in some type of way be be a leader in some type of way there's so many ways to lead okay it does not look the same for everyone um but I feel like that's been a question that's been on your mind. What is your purpose and how can you connect with your abundance, okay? What can you do to make the world a better place? That's what you want to um, ask yourself, right? Um, give me one more card for uh -oh. actions that cancer needs to take. Actions. So we got spirit showing up. So yeah, connecting with spirit. I feel like co-creating with spirit because manifest is showing up here too, right? Spirit is the true essence that allows you to connect to all that is, all right? Breathe in the light of divinity and allow it to be absorbed into your soul. So it's like kind of connecting. And even in this mood card, it's kind of like she's suspended higher, like in, in the higher realms, right? It's like connecting, like she's up there past where the planes be, okay, in the spiritual realm, right? 
and that's what i'm feeling like that's what you're needing to align with okay um leading with love okay showing love that's what i feel like um is your purpose cancer that's my if you notice down in my comment section if you ever leave me a comment there are some rules and guidelines lead with love the highest energy of all i feel like that's definitely cancer a part of your purpose okay and so it's like definitely with the energy of like things high and i'm not saying high like you know that but high like of like you know another dimension kind of high right <laughs> and definitely there are things manifesting from the spiritual realm down to the physical okay infinitely let's see what's the overall outcome of this spirit this prophecy read what's the prophecy for cancer Look, and abundance, underlying energy showing up again. So open your arms to the richness of life. Wealth is abundant and great opportunities are about to unfold. Offer your gratitude to accept these many blessings, Cancer, okay? Showing love too, but this enchantment, yeah, we got the full moon happening. This full moon is really, really sticking out here. Um, and I feel like this full moon is definitely going to be a time for you to kind of connect with your inner child. Um, your child, your inner child needs to sparkle and be free. I feel like there's a dream that you're going to go back to. There could have been a childhood dream that you had, Cancer, that you need to go back to, okay? But let your innocence shine as you view, view the world through the eyes of a child. Notice the magic in everything, okay? The magic in everything, right? So just be open to the twinkling um, in an eye, you know, that kind of thing. And as I said that, I caught this little twinkle over here in the dreams card. So it's just like, yeah, be open to to the magic cancer, however, you know, it unfolds for you. But you have to be open to it, like finding your, your pot of gold, your treasure chest, right? And this abundance. Um, energy that's showing up for you, Cancer. Mm. I love this. I'm going to pull a couple of messages. Final messages for you, Cancer. Cancer. Be willing to let go of everything that you once thought to be true. So I feel like that's what that move on energy is like. Be willing to let go on your journey. Be willing to let go of relationships that don't align with you. Be willing to let go of things that you don't feel, you know, in your heart connected with. Um, you know, and also when you're when you're like leading, like when you're getting ready to step into your power, it's like, don't be afraid of everything that could go wrong. Be open to what could go right. Okay. Give me one final. Oop. Yeah. Look, follow your heart. You can't go wrong when you follow your heart. And yeah, someone could definitely be out there thinking that love relationships, um, could be kind of, and I feel like somebody had even said that in my comments. And it's like, if you're speaking that, if you believe that, like, that's what your reality is going to be. There's nothing that I can say that's going to change your mind around that. But, um, don't, don't worry about love not finding you. It will find you. Okay. Make sure that you are fo following your heart. It's going to lead you to the right things, okay? On your journey, it's going to lead you to the right thing. Like, you can't go wrong when you follow what's in your heart, following your dreams, okay, Cancer? But I'm going to leave your reading right here. I really do hope that it resonates for someone and you found it helpful. Um, please feel free to like, share, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Talk to me down in the comment section, but do be aware of the scammers. Check out the description box below for all the important information that you may want to know, okay? In the meantime, in between time, until next time, I love you.